Hello, this has been Mason Heimer with Silver Seas Yachts. Today I'm in sunny Huntington Beach, California, and I'm going to show you a 3100 Tierra. If you've been looking for a Tierra for this season, you know how hard they are to come by right now. So I'm very excited to get this thing listed. It's a 1999 3100 open. It's powered by 7.4 liter Crusaders, 350 horsepower per side, and about 600 hours on them. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So here she is. This is Seacat. Uh, Seacat was purchased by her current owner about five years ago. It wasn't fished previously and it hasn't been fished by them. They're selling it because this house here that the boat is behind is more of a vacation home and it's just not seeing the use. The hull's in fairly good condition. It could use a buff and a wax, but overall it's looking good. Bimini top is great. Isinglass, you can reuse the frames, but the actual glass itself, at least on the sides, will need to be replaced. It looks pretty good in the front. Windshield, typical of this era, there's a little bit of bubbling around where the stainless steel screws go into the aluminum frame, but it's not horrible. The railing is stainless steel and that all looks real good. All the windows are secure. I checked them from the inside and didn't see any leaking uh, to speak of. You have four rod holders and it looks like there's quick connect dis uh, attachments here for what probably was a bimini top at one time. Uh, that would have probably had a bow that came over here to offer more shade. I'll ask them if they have it. I don't know if they do. Uh, here on our swim step, we have a, uh, a swimming ladder. We have attach attachments for a uh, tender. We do have the mounts for a bait tank, but again, speaking with this gentleman, he never fished it. And he said the guy that he got it from was one of these guys that we uh, sell quite a few boats to that thinks they want to fish, but they don't really actually fish. Windless anchor here at the bow. Again, I don't see a bunch of nicks and dings. The rub rail's in good condition. We have a spotlight here at the bow. All in all, a good looking boat from this angle. It just needs a little bit of buffing. There is some shine on the hull, but it's due for a buff and a wax. Here's some more of that peeling I was talking about. Really easy to fix. Usually your detailer can do that for you. Again, the thing's been sitting, so you'll see a little moss here and there. Uh, but all of this is really high quality work and I, I believe you can use these frames again uh, and just replace the glass. Um, there is a big cover that covers the back. You'll see that if you go to my listing on yachtworld.com or boattrader.com and look at the pictures. You'll see that on there. Here's our cockpit. This is what Tierra is famous for. These boats are very wide and uh, anyone that ever gets on one comments on how big these boats are for something that they're calling a 31 foot boat. You have a fold down seat here in the transom. Doesn't look like it's seen much use. There's a bit of yellowing on it. Some of that uh, should come out. Other than that, uh, it's in perfect condition, so I think you just dye that uh, back to pure white. Combing bolsters are supple. Stitching is good. There is a bit of sun burning on top. Again, you can redo this, or you can use a automotive upholstery dye and just bring it back that way. Okay, as we enter our cockpit, we have a very nice large boarding door, scuppers to either side of the cockpit uh, for some hardcore fishing and rough weather. Here in the floor, we have a uh, insulated ice box that can be used as a kill box, fish hold, bait, whatever you'd like. And then there's another large one here, and that insulated box lifts out. Underneath that, you can access all of the rudder gear and uh, all of the machinery in the back of the boat. Here's our shore power. It's dual shore power. The boat is equipped with air conditioning. Um, so that's what the second leg of shore power is for. We have our hatch lift here, raw water pump switch, and raw water pump quick disconnect here. You also have a 110 outlet in this area. Here's our cutting station and ice maker, and it does have tackle boxes here. Here's the cutting board, the sink, and uh, this has a little crack in it. I think I'd try gluing it back together first, but if that didn't work, this is an easily fabricated thing. Basically, they just take a, a flat sheet and heat it and bend it. Not too bad at all. So, very large cockpit. You have your subwoofer here. These Clarion speakers are extremely inexpensive, and these look original. Let's just assume that those will need to be replaced. More storage here and the back of the helm companion, and that's a really large one. And if you notice, you see this insulation, this is the type of really nice insulation that Tierra uses. Um, that's gonna be 
an insulated draining cooler here as well. So there's many types of seating that they did in these boats. I would say this is the most desirable one. It offers the most amount of seating under the shade and makes for great conversation while underway. Again, bimini, great shape. A little bit of green here, it needs to be cleaned. Um, but I think it's very serviceable. Here's our helm seat. Um, all of the seat seats show a bit of, um, of soiling and it's in the grain. There's a product that uh, I've been using lately uh, called Z Cleaner. Z Cleaner, you can get it at West Marine and you use that and scrub that and it's uh, the least amount of effort to get that out and I think you could have a 90% improvement. It's just mainly where people sat. If you look here on the backrest, there's none there. Here's our helm, destroyer wheel, carbon dash. I prefer this carbon dash to the blue dash because the blue dash is always crack. It's just in the gel coat, but they do crack. Um, throttles, no pitting, they look to be in good shape. You have an older color Simrad here. This is the Fruno Open Array Radar. Didn't even bother to turn that one on. Um, you have an autopilot, that's nice. Um, we're showing 599 on starboard engine, 538 on port. I'm sure there's a story behind that. Key left on, gauge stopped working, something like that. I did fire this boat up. It runs very well, fires right up, and that was from a cold start. It looks like all the switches have been replaced with new switches, and we've got a great destroyer style wheel here. The helm seat does go forward and back, so that's nice. We have a uh, opening window. Uh, it's electronic. You push a button and that opens up. Uh, but in the summer, I like to remove all the eyes and glass and pull off this top piece which is in good shape, very serviceable and you get a lot of great flow through here. Uh, we have a map case, cup holders, again Amazon $12 go to stainless steel, these come out and there's the new ones go in, they have some tape on them that just uh, sticks them right on there. Um, you have a day hatch to check oil and fluids on your engine room here and then you have more storage here underneath the helm companion seating. Plexiglass door, not craze, good shape. There's a little nick right here, but that's from leaving the key in, and it hits right there. So you always want to take your key out. All right, as we step down below, this is what I'm telling you about this boat. Like you need some new electronics, you need to clean your seats, you need to dye a few things, but stuff like you know, companion or, um, courtesy lighting, it's not all pitted. And then as you see, as we go down in, if you look at the stairs, they're not worn out because the boat was hardly used. The table is in great shape. There's like one little nick on it, maybe two, but I mean, for this age boat, that's about as good as I see. Again, here's our stairs, upholstery, you know, a lot of these boats in a 99, you'll see a lot of crazing and cracking. There's a tiny bit here where someone sat, but again, I wouldn't do anything about that. I'd leave that the way it is. It's fine. It's just in the one corner, all looking really good. All of the woodwork I loved here is teak. It uh, definitely ages very well. It's like fine wine. It, the color changes as the uh, as it ages. Again, like I was saying about the portholes, it's amazing the condition of these boats. I mean, I saw a lot of boats in the late 2000s that have leaking portholes, so that's nice. Uh, original tape deck there from Clarion. Um, it does work. I had the AC on. That works as well. Here's our panel with inverter. The boat was originally wired for a generator and it came with the inverter. Uh, the generator um, stopped working. Um, they never used it and so they just removed it from the boat. All the wiring's there but the generator is not there. Again, all the paneling, everything looks good. Boat does need a couple light bulbs um, but that's an easy fix. You can put some LEDs in. Sand some here. Stove top looks again like it's never been used. Even the sink, you know, boat that's been used, you're going to see quite a bit more uh, water spotting in there. Um, now up above here, I'm sure they have it somewhere. Yeah, here it is back here. This this little door panel is going to need to be slid back into its slot, um, but that should be an easy job. Opening portholes above, some good fresh air and light. Again, those are in good shape. The frames are not cracked and uh, everything seems to be in good shape. Here is our storage down below. Refrigerator. Uh, let's see here. Well, it looks like they have it on at the panel, but off here at the switch. But again, looks like it's okay. Um, I'll report back to you 
in my listing if that thing's firing up. All right, so here's our bed. There's a filler cushion that makes out. Um, there's storage below it to the left-hand side, and I believe, yeah, see you've got a massive storage underneath here as well. So that's on a gas shock, and that's a really great area. You have these shorty table rods, and so that'll allow you to drop this table down, and once you have it dropped down, you can then take these filler cushions and install them, and you're good to go uh, for a, a second set of two people. Mirror behind the bed looks good. The corners aren't crazy or, or chipping or anything like that. And again, the portholes in this area look good. Light fixtures look good. Headliner is really good. Um, let's go ahead and check out the head. It's just amazing how well these boats age. I, I, there's not many old boats that I'll sell, but I sold a 1989 recently, and we took that out for a sea trial, and I tell you, 10 years older than this, no squeaks, no rattles, 2,500 hours and just did its thing. It was awesome. So this is a vacuum flush head made out of porcelain. That's nice. Non-skid flooring. You've got a shower curtain that wraps around this area and then your faucet comes up and uh, makes a real nice shower in this area. Okay, here's our engine room. Um, the seller has stated uh, that when he purchased it, he put quite a bit of money into it. Uh, installing new heat exchangers, risers, manifolds, um, doing all that kind of work. When I came to list the boat, there was a little bit of um, seepage. Actually, it was here. It was out of the zincs, and so he replaced the zincs, had that cleaned up. A little bit of paint was applied. Um, the um, manifold at the riser was removed, and um, new gaskets were installed because the risers were still good since it's their first go-around and uh, he also put new water pumps on it. The boat was originally equipped with a generator, which would have been down here. It kind of went bad, they never used it, so they just took it out. Um, overall, the engines look very good. Um, you know, everything looks as it should be. Um, there is, you know, some cleaning that could be done uh, here in the engine room, but again, the guy's selling it because he's just not using it. He doesn't live here um, at this house. It's a weekend house. And so it's just not seeing a lot of use. Uh, over here, we have our engine start batteries. We have our automatic fire suppression here. And uh, yeah, I mean, for what it is and the year that it is, there's a lot worse out there, you know? Um, I think that this one is, uh, is a very worthy, worthy boat to be considered. I can see that it has a new alternator here. I can see, um, that the oil has been changed because it's written on the filters. Here's the Y valve for the overboard discharge. Um, down here, and a little bit of greening on the through holes, but uh, looks like that can all be scrubbed off. Doesn't look too bad. Um, some type of weeping here, um, but not sure what that is. Here's some more stuff not being used that was for the generator. But all in all, you know, exhaust pipes look good. Everything's double hose clamped. All this work was done at the local boatyard here in Huntington Harbor. So again, um, you know, a bit of cleaning to do. The boat's been sitting. I did fire it up and it just fired right up. Um, and it was from dead cold. So that's good. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth considering if you're in the market for this type of boat. All right, that's going to conclude our tour of this 1999 Tierra 3100 Open in Huntington Beach. If you'd like more information about the boat or you need help buying or selling a boat in the Southern California market, please feel free to give me a call anytime at 619-800-3491 or you can email me at bigboatbin at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. There'll be a link to the Yacht World listing in the description below and we will see you on the water.